Hey guys, um, just a quick update. Do you guys remember the property that I showed you? Complete the one that's uh, vandalized. So a bit of good news so far, but I don't want to get too excited. So I have this property under contract or under offer. Um, they've signed my offer to purchase and I've already paid for this property because this is a cash deal. Um, and uh, yeah, so now the property is in transfer. I got it at a very, oh, I would say fair price. Uh, it's, it's actually a very good price if you think about it. So um, yeah, I can share it with you guys. So I um, offered 700,000 Rand on this property. Um, it took about a week and then the owner came back to me and said, no, it's way too low. They won't be able to accept that. So I upped my offer with 150,000 Rand to 850,000 Rand. Um, at that stage, we were already busy negotiating about two weeks and I didn't want to play games with the seller. So I worked out what was my maximum amount, which came to 850,000 Rand. I made my last offer and I also made it very clear that that's my final and last and also my best offer. About a week passed and they've accepted my offer. They've signed the OTP, uh, the property or the, the contract. The agreement is currently with the trans with the attorneys that's going to do the transfer. So I did not spend a lot of money yet because this property is not on my name. But what we've done, and maybe I can show you guys, is we've secured this problem. First things first, we fixed this gate. I don't know if you guys remember, let me do this. We fixed this gate. You can see everywhere we've welded everything together. Just as a temp solution, and I've installed a, a lock here. And then on the devil's fork side, we just added this three pieces of iron here just to make sure that no one can enter and cause any more damage to this property. So we've started cleaning, cleaning a bit as you can see. Um, I'm just going to take you for a quick tour. We're not finished yet, but just look at the, the difference between the previous video and the current video. All of a sudden everything looks a lot bigger. We've removed a lot of grass. Um, one positive thing is I found a borehole here and let's see if you can hear this but there's definitely water in here so listen to this okay so that's an added bonus because a borehole with student accommodation they use a lot of water if you've got a borehole with a filtering system it's definitely going to save some money so here's the first heap of rubble as you can see we've just dumped everything here there's two heaps like this tomorrow there's a guy that's gonna come and remove or remove this rubble for me with a eight ton truck um, I'm not gonna show you guys the inside of the house there's no electricity but just a quick you see it gets a little bit dark in here But yeah, we've just cleaned up so that it doesn't look that bad. As you can see, the house is still dark. So I'm just going to give you guys a tour of the outside. We've removed some old trees. I'm not a big fan of cutting down trees, but if it becomes a problem with it, the trees are planted too close to the wall and they were overhanging over the roof so we cut those down but luckily there's still a lot of trees left another heap of rubble as you can see fairly big so we've used um, seven guys for two full days just to get, gather all the rubble and all the papers and all the mess and everything uh, there's a little bit that we still need to remove uh, But yeah, as you can see it already looks a lot better if you just 
pick up all the rubble. This is a huge out of guys. Huge, 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 huge. Let's see if I can show it to you like this. Okay, so just a little update. Obviously, I can't get excited. <laughs> Uh, the prop I'll only get excited once this property takes transfer into my name or my company's name uh, then I'll celebrate but for now I've got control over this property I've stipulated in the agreement that I take occupational rent as soon as the agreement is signed and I also in exchange for occupational rent so I'm not paying any occupational rent I will secure this property and you know just clean it up so that it doesn't look like there's no one here so yeah hold thumbs guys um, if this transfer goes through I'm gonna start with the renovations and I'm also thinking of documenting the whole process um, to explain everything like how I found the property where did I where did I get the funding for this property how much will the renovations cost me um, how much will furniture cost me I'm going to turn this into student accommodation What's the potential rental income on this property? What's the potential expenses? So I'm going to document everything from A to Z um, on this property. And yeah, let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested in something like that. Do I need to go through all the effort, you know, to make the videos and, you know, share all this stuff with you guys? Um, would this be something that interests you guys? Do you want to see how we renovate a property how we do the numbers um, so far thumbs up numbers will be that i'm going to this is after renovations and expenses this prop property will be a 400 000 rand under market value in other words the purchase price with the renovations everything included even with furniture it means that the total that i've spent will still be 400 000 rand under the average or the market value of the average property in this area and I'm also looking to you know generate an income of about 46,000 Rand uh, the numbers can differ but 46,000 Rand per month that's before expenses so in the comment section please let me know is there something you guys would like to see is there something that I would you know put in the time the effort to document um, I want to take an approach where I don't just sit behind the desk and tell you guys about it. I want to actually come to site and show you guys how we do it. So please let me know in the comment section and thank you.